Hey everybody, we are back with another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And we are back talking about wire again. This is Wiring 2.0. We're gonna tell you a little bit more about uh, audio wattage uh, and how audio signal might be a little bit different. Some little bit more in-depth stuff about wire. Hope it'll hopefully take a little bit of the mystery out, make it a little bit more approachable for you. Alrighty, Nathan, so we're talking about wire again, uh, wiring 2.0. So uh, as you mentioned, you know, we're going to you know, walk you through the, the differences between the wattage and uh, line level signal, uh, you know, what it all means. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it started. We have a neat little visual diagram to kind of uh, lay it out better for you too. So uh, we'll kind of dive into that as well. So um, yeah, take it away. All right. So first things first, uh, last time on wire, I showed you a bunch of different sizes of wire when one is more appropriate for 70 volt versus 8 ohm, that kind of thing. One thing I never showed you, the inside of the wire. Wow, that's <laughs> so useful. Yeah. If you look here, this is uh, 18 gauge wire, with, which once again, I told you that it has a little twist on it because it's actually two wires twisted over one another. Uh, I'm still not going to get too technical because I'm still not an electrical engineer, but that can help with uh, noise reduction in things like uh, electromagnetism. Ooh. <laughs> Webster, uh, where are you at? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but inside, you've got two different leads inside this because this is two conductor wire. Most speaker wire is two conducted, two conductor, uh, non-shielded wire. Most of the time, you don't have shield and speaker wire coming from us. Yep. We'll talk about that with you if you need to talk to us about it a little further. Mm -hmm. But you got two leads. I've already stripped this back, some trusty wire strippers earlier. Basically, I would just strip these individual leads and make those connections at the speaker. Or if there was a speaker connector, like a speak on connector, a quarter inch connector, I could solder these onto the quarter inch connector. I could twist them onto the uh, speak on connector uh, in order to make the connection at my speaker. Most 70 volt mixer amplifiers are going to have either a Euro block or Phoenix plug connector gotcha. or just screw terminals where yeah. these wires are going to end up. So this is obviously skinny wire, which is very useful for us in transitioning to our diagram here. Okay. So to make things real clear for you guys, the wire that we talked about la uh, previously last week, whenever that was, whenever that the summer's was. been flying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the skinny wire we were talking about is what's going to go from basically the amplifier to the speaker. Mm -hmm. You've got black and uh, black and red here, obviously. Yeah. That's our black and our red inside of this one cable. Mm -hmm. So this cable is not just one of these, it's actually both. These yep. two conductors, as we call them, are inside of this one cable. Gotcha. Uh, there's a connection at the positive, connection at the negative. Like we went over, this can be an amplifier that's 70 volt or 8 ohm. Regardless of which one, it's important to know which size wire do I need. Yeah. The reason being, if we run this skinny wire very long distances in low impedance, in 8 ohm, we're giving a very small uh, pathway from the amplifier to go to the speaker. That can result in not enough wattage making it from the amp to the speaker. So even though you might have tons of wattage here, yeah. if this distance is too long or this cable too skinny, mm -hmm. you're not going to end up with enough signal making it to the speaker, so it might not be loud enough. Yep. Well, well, or um, there's also something, a fancy term called uh, dampening factor, which can mean that you might actually end up with less high frequencies at the speaker, so a worse sounding speaker. Uh, the way you can kind of think about this with too small of a wire, kind of like... Uh, you know, when you turn on your garden hose and somebody steps on it, yep. not enough is making it to the end. Yep. Same concept. We've got not enough electrical contact there to let all the wattage make it to the gotcha. speaker for it to do what it needs to. That makes sense. Yeah. So uh, when we get a bigger wire, we've got a bigger garden hose, more water's coming out. Yep. So uh, using the right kind of cable can ensure that your amplifier does what it needs to and the speaker gets as much of that energy as possible and sounds as good as it can. But that's not the only place where uh, cabling or wiring is involved in a system package. Yeah, yeah. You so also yeah. see we've got a Mics. microphone, a mixer, and an amplifier that uh, one of our wonderful web team uh, drew up for us. Yeah. Here. So uh, the speaker wire that we mentioned previously is all just for this portion. 
which I would say is all carrying wattage. Um, that's actually um, electrical signal coming from your amplifier to your speaker. That electrical signal actually physically causes your speaker to move. Mm -hmm. uh, and when that speaker moves, it's creating disturbances in the air that you then hear. So uh, that's one place where cabling and wiring is very important. Yeah. But we also got to get the signal to the amplifier. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mentioned, we got two conductors here, a positive and a negative. Mm -hmm. But we have a different kind of signal going from the mixer to the amplifier. Uh, that can actually be a much thinner gauge uh, cable, which actually carries audio signal. Yep. So this is small, like... Uh, not even a volt type of signal. Yeah. Like uh, you think of your nine volt battery or your double A battery, this is less than that. Uh, and that, this is actually a microphone cable with a bare end on the other side, which mm -hmm. is called a uh, balanced uh, cable. Gotcha. So it actually is a positive, a white cable, mm -hmm. a negative, a black, mm -hmm. and then a shield or a ground. So it's ground. And that, those three cables correspond to the three connectors on this microphone cable. Gotcha. Uh, this is the kind of cable, for instance, I would use to plug in a wired microphone into a 70 volt mixer amplifier. Okay. So this cable could go right here. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there's another end on this mic cable, sometimes not. That just depends on the kind of amplifier you're using, the kind of mixer you're using. Right. Yeah. But uh, t the thing to take into mind here is that this mic cable is not carrying wattage. It's not carrying yeah. electrical signal. Yeah. It's just music notes. Exactly, you know, yeah. That's it. <laughs> exactly. So, Traveling music notes through wire. So that's as a result, yeah. this cable can be much smaller. We might sell you know, these as a 22 gauge wire, a 24 gauge wire sometimes, or 20 gauge. That's fine. It doesn't need to be the thick 12 gauge stuff like we're doing on the big wires. Gotcha. Uh, reason being, we're carrying audio signal, yep. not electricity. Yep. So uh, this same mic cable may also be used to come out of the output, out of the mixer, into the amplifier. Basically, microphone comes in, mixer ramp, ramps up the signal, lets okay. you make any adjustments to the uh, equalizer or anything like that that you might need, yep. then spits it out to drive it into the amplifier. Amplifiers are power station in this uh, kind of uh, application yeah, here. Yeah. It ramps up the signal into wattage out of our, uh, power, out of our uh, speaker cable right into our speaker to uh, deliver what you need. So uh, important to note that speaker wire and, um, and microphone cable, very different. Yep. Um, once again, sometimes this mixer and this amplifier might be the same thing in a 70 volt commercial uh, application. Yep. No big deal, still works the same way inside. Uh, and it's still important to know that you have the right kind of cable going from your amp to your speaker. Absolutely, absolutely. So once again, if you have questions about what kind of cable is right for you, what kind of application you have going on, where we can help um, with any issues in your uh, system signal uh, chain, yeah. reach out to us. You can email me directly. Nathan at ProAcoustics.com. And I'm Colton at ProAcoustics.com. That's Colton with an I. Or give us a buzz on our 800 number, 888. 256-4112 or that's sales at proacousticsusa.com or check out the site www.proacousticsusa.com you can also check out our amazon store any of our system packages we have out there uh, make sure and drop us a like subscribe to us let's uh let's know there's more of you guys out there let us know what yeah. we can help with any uh applications where you might need a hand and uh, don't be a stranger now all right until next time i'm colton and i'm nathan see ya